So what was behind the deal? What's the significance? Listen, Mark Rowan, this was really a brainchild of his at Apollo. They created it about a decade or so ago. It has expanded into one of the largest annuity companies in America. It was also a major, major, major contributor to Apollo's own earnings. So they were already intertwined a lot. To some people, this is a deal coming full circle, bringing the two firms together. Now, remember, Apollo was up earlier today on the news. Now they're trading down just a little bit. They're going to have to approve that the two entities can grow better together. Just walk me through the industrial loss logic on this, Shinali. The industrial uh, ramifications of this. So, listen, Athena is an insurance company, right? It's not so simple to think about what that means for investors. Do you value it as an, a private equity firm? Do you value it as a private equity company? Uh, it, 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 in some ways, that is complicated. But in other ways, it's similar. It, it's simpler because they are simplifying the governance structure over at Apollo. Uh, they are making Apollo a one-vote, one-share uh, system. So right now, they have three classes of shares, it will be much easier for investors to buy into the story when corporate governance is cleaned up. But again, you have to understand insurance. <laughs> right. Have to, so do, can we read Apollo? Are, are they more risk taking than other firms or less? Like, how do we read into that? Well, interestingly, one thing that Athene does for them that is not so clear at the surface is it helps them really own the uh, credit origination and underwriting process in a bigger way. So in some ways, you could say, is that riskier? Well, for Apollo, they feel that, hey, if they own the way that you underwrite credit, then you have a better view of what those risks look like. It is more of a credit firm. As we've known, uh, Apollo has a much bigger credit arm than any other private equity firm out there. On the other hand, this will create a $29 billion firm by market value. By comparison, Blackstone is almost $80 billion. Oh, okay. So even with the deal... So <laughs> That's how much of a differential you have between what these two firms are valued at. So closing that value gap is a big thing. It's still a high hurdle even with a deal like this on day one. Shanali, is there any connection to what is happening with Greensill here? Yes, there is, because Athene was in talks, as we reported, to buy some green cell assets. That goes back, Guy, to what we were just talking about, about credit origination. If Apollo and Athene start to own some of these assets, they can get into a lot of these places that the banks have really stepped out. Again, together, they, the plan is for them to do that at a larger scale. Uh, and again, Athene is not in talks to buy all of the green cell assets, right? Not the riskiest of the risky, but they can get into places where they can find value.